All right, folks, uh, this is Eric coming from Kansas again. Uh, just got my father-in-law's battery installed, uh, along with uh, <clears throat> the inverter here and the battery charger. And there's the uh, box with the battery monitor in it that you saw before in the capacity test video. And I uh, have the BMS out of there. Um, you know, it, uh, it works not the uh, the most buttoned up thing in the world but uh, it'll do just fine and uh, it'll last a lot longer than the lead acid batteries that uh, he had in here and uh, this was the inverter charger unit uh, for that battery so uh, <clears throat> we're still trying to fit he's got two actually two sump pumps in here uh, so we have this inverter hooked up to the main pump but uh, <clears throat> the, the backup pump that was running off of this setup uh, has a separate float I believe and and we're still trying to figure out how to get that to work without without this uh, contraption uh, without it hooked into this thing so anyway we'll work on that here later but um, yeah we tested it out and it works pretty good uh, pulled about 500 watts for a couple of seconds um, but uh, we'll be testing out later to make sure it works some more. But you know, right now it's uh, charging the batteries up <clears throat> about 15 amps or so. Um, I charge them up about 20 or 30 percent before I came over here. But um, yeah, here's the setup. Uh, got a little board to protect the uh, terminals there. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is inside a garage, so you know it's. Uh, kind of in a basement garage slash thing so you know doesn't need to be the most buttoned up thing but anyway it works works pretty well and uh, should serve them well and I uh, just wanted to give you that uh, show you that um, I show you some tests here later on but I um, just wanted to give you a preview of what uh, what it looked like installed and um, yeah let me know if you have any questions and uh, we'll talk to you later grace and peace be with you Bye for now.